Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark with Leet Wine TV. Dad's drinking the wine already. This is my version of Sasha. Anyway, he's smelling it. Alright, so uh, we're at uh, Brasserie Paville, also known as Brazier at the house. Um, so we just did a little tweet up or meet up with Flix and Food. I'm about to do a little wine review, a little in the field, if you will, wine review. Uh, let me look at the menu here real quick again. It is the Vincent Jardin Pinot Noir, it's 2005 from uh, Burgundy. No, yes, Burgundy. And um, so we're gonna check it out. I've also got a mac and cheese coming. Waiter suggested this is a good pairing for it. So let's uh, check it out. First of all, yeah, you know, it's red. It's supposed to be red. So we'll uh, do a little swirl action here. Remember I talked about wine glasses and people, restaurants putting, giving you wine glasses too small? Yeah, that's not too small. That's a good, good size. Like, dirty feet. Did you get that? Did you get dirty feet out of it? No? Yeah, like stinky, like wet socks. So yeah, you get kind of that, it's like earthy, like smell, which you're supposed to get from these wines. It's not like a California Pinot Noir. It's probably gonna be all fruity and nice. It's gonna be kind of stinky. So, um, did you get that? Yeah, sir. Yeah, see, the mom, mom. That's press man, by the way. Like shoe inserts. Yeah, yeah, like shoe inserts. Okay, so you get that. Uh, that uh, Vinny Crumbs wants to wants to do this. He's probably gonna say, "I don't smell this at all." <laughs> it's all right. So, um, all right. So that was that was like off the nose, right off the bat. Oh. Sorry, sir. <laughs> so, mac and cheese is here, by the way. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, um, here's the mac and cheese. Does that look good or what? All right. So, I laughed because Pressman asked me if I was going to have accordion smell. Not quite there, but it was close enough. So, dusty. A little dusty. All right. So, let's check it out. No spit bucket today. We're at the restaurant. So, um, I get dust. Yeah, I get that dusty, musty taste. Not not the wet socks or anything like that. Not the shoe inserts. But a little leathery. So, I mean, this this is an $11 a glass wine. So, all, I, hey, it was the cheapest Pinot Noir they got. <laughs> His mom looked at me like, are you spending that much money? Yeah. So, but it looks. No, no, it's on my. I'll put it on my tab. Um, so anyway, that's a really good Pinot Noir. I really like it. So uh, I'm gonna eat some uh, mac and cheese here. So let's check it out. I know horrible camera work. I'm sorry. Vinny Crumbs got the camera. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Best mac and cheese ever. Alright, so see how it pairs. Yeah, it's much better with the Pinot Noir. 
This one, by the way, is our happy hour white. It's, uh, do I gotta look it up again? Perrin and Field, Phil, Phil's, F I L S. Fields. Uh, close to Liberon. It's a Southern Rhone. Uh, I believe it's Southern Rhone. Uh, white wine. Uh, probably Beyond ba Beyondier based. This is what I kind of thought it was. Uh, but there's a lot of other varietals, you know, Southern Rhone wines can be. It's probably Beyond based. The Pinot Noir works much better with that. Alright, so this is probably episode number eight. Uh, we're over here at Pavel uh, Brasserie. 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 Pavel. Uh, great time with the Flix and Food Meetup. Uh, it's a great place here. Hopefully you can hear all this. It's pretty loud in here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you guys again on Monday.